Hey, what's up guys, Ralph here. So today I wanted to talk about um, credit repair. Uh, I know a lot of people have questions about um, if credit repair works. Um, and I'm not gonna be going over um, tricks on how to repair your credit. Like what I wanted to go over today was like secrets on, on how to repair your credit, like things that you may have not, not known. Well, at least I know I didn't know and maybe, you know, I'll share with you and maybe, you know, see if you know, if you knew any of these things as well. Um, so I'm just gonna go over some of the things that you may know because a lot of people have questions on if credit repair does it work. It does work, but it's based on the information. It's based on what you know. A lot of people have this 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 thing where, oh man, they can't clean up the credit, but it is possible. You just got to know how it works. The credit, the whole credit repair process works. And hopefully, the things I share with you today will help give you a little confidence and a little understanding of why credit is so important. And how you can repair it if it's if you're someone that um, that you know that struggles with good credit. Um, so I think the first thing that I learned about credit was that some people may not know is that. Some people think that uh, these credit repair, uh, you know, these 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 agencies, the three boroughs, Experian, TransUnion, and um, Equifax, they're owned by the government. But in fact, they're not. They're all private entities, all right? So TransUnion is owned by some billionaire in Chicago. Uh, Equifax is owned by the public. And um, Experian is owned by a, co a company in the UK. Uh, but I think they do have an office here in the United States. But a lot of people think they're, they're government, you know, they're owned by the government. But in fact, uh, they're not set up by the government, they're not owned by the government, and they're not run by the government. They're all, you know, um, private entities. And the reason why they're so they're they're so powerful and why they they're so important in today's society here in the United States is because of information. Um, I'm sure if you look at like social media and like other businesses, they pay a lot of money for your for our information. So when it comes to these credit bureaus. Being able to the fact that they can get all your, you know, your your spending habits all in one one place is very valuable to them. They can make a lot of money because these creditors pay money to these um, um, credit bureaus to get their information. And and the thing is, what's 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 the crazy thing is the the one thing that I learned is it's totally voluntary. Like the fact that creditors that they get their information, it's voluntary that these creditors, like credit card companies or auto loan, it's voluntary that they give out the information to these bureaus. They don't have to. They could just they could just put a give 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 you a loan and then keep that information to themselves. But what they do is they 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 provide they pay these credit bureaus to take that information and then hold that. So whenever they want to look somebody up to give them a loan, they can just go and enter the data base and figure out what kind of spending or what kind of kind of spending habits that you have uh, for someone that pays back money so they, th this is so it's valuable to like uh, lenders to make sure that they can they you know when it comes to lending money they know where they can go to get this information so it's crazy because a lot of people may not know that that you know it's you know once you get a loan it just automatically goes in your credit report but it doesn't have to these creditors can just you know take give you a loan and then keep that information to the sub. What they do, they pay money to give to these credit bureaus, and these credit bureaus make money off of it, and they store all your information. So I think there's only one thing. Like so, bankruptcies, bankruptcies are probably one entity that that they don't report to the bureaus. What happens is these credit bureaus, um, they they get these third parties, um, these third party people to get the information from them. So the bankruptcies, like bankruptcy courts, don't go and give the, this information to to the creditors. They they get it from a third party source. I'm not sure what that source is, but that's, that from based on my research, that's where they get it from. All right. So that's probably why you see, and the fact that it's voluntary is probably why you see so many inconsistencies within reports. So if you see one report, like say on Experian, you have one report where there's a late payment or uh, there's a collection, and then you look at another report, there's nothing there. That's because they reported in one place and didn't report it somewhere else. So that's why there's so much inconsistencies, and these inconsistencies can help you when it comes to repairing your credit. Right, because it makes it be, based on laws, everything has to be accurate. So when you repair your credit, it helps to know and make sure that there's a consistent balance between Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. So if there's any little inc in inconsistency or there's any errors, you can get stuff removed. All right. Like I said, I'm not gonna go into detail of that. I'll do that, in, you know, a, a, a video in the future. But that's why you see you probably you know you go to these different you go to check um, all your credit reports and there's so many so much different information. That's because creditors are reporting information prior to one um, uh, borough, but not the others. All right. So that's why you see so much so many you know your your reports look different from each report and and especially your scores. Like all scores are not the same. On, on each um, credit bureau, so that's and that's another reason. So and they, and they all score different. So that's, it, it's important to understand this because when you're preparing your credit, you need to know these things, all right? So another thing is because it's voluntary, there's no law 
that says these credit bureaus have to report late payments, all right? So let's say if you have an auto loan and, or a credit card and you miss a payment, that, cre that, that creditor uh, doesn't have to report it to the credit bureaus. They can just hold that and keep that information to themselves. There's no, no reason for them to do it, but obviously they do it because, you know, when it comes to them to look up information, to, to, you know, to loan somebody some money or give people credit, they, need, they want to know what kind of borrower they're dealing with. So that's why they do it, but they don't have to do it. There's no law that says they do it. I, I know a lot of, I'm sure we all thought that, you know, once you get a credit card, we get a loan, it automatically just goes right into to this credit bureau, but it doesn't have to. These creditors can just hold this information, keep it for their own records, and if you miss a late payment, there's something that's in their books, and they, they deal with it. And that's the thing. So, and, and a lot of people don't understand that. So your, your credit history is not owned by these boroughs, right? It's not. It's not owned by them. It's, it's basically the creditor's information. It's kept for the creditors. Just, so if there's any issue that you have, it's basically that those creditors are saying, all right, boom, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay these credit bureaus to get this so, so I can um, log this information in. So for any other lenders going forward, even for themselves, that they can get this information when they need it. So when they want to lend you some money, they say, all right, let me just check this. Let me go pay, you know, these, uh, let me pay these bureaus and see what kind of borrower I'm dealing with. It helps them out in the long run. So just know that, you know, there's no law that says that they have to give this information. And that also helps. This is this information, knowing them, will also help you when it comes to repairing your credit. And like I said, I won't go into it, but that's something that's just something to keep in mind that there is no law that says that these creditors have to report this information to it. And because um, and because um, all this is voluntary, like, and I told you about the inaccuracies, you're going to see there's ways and in, in ways in which you can get a lot of stuff removed. All right. So let's say, for example, um, there's an error, like say there's a late payment um, and, and, it's, and, and it doesn't it doesn't belong there. Any any error that's on your report has to be deleted because of those laws that protect that, that protect you as a consumer. If it's an error, if it's not true, they have to remove that. And obviously there's ways for you to do it, sending letters and whatnot. But like I said, I'll go I'll get I'll go over that in another video. But if there's any in, error on your in your report, you can get that negative information removed. Another thing is that. If that um, negative item that's on your report <clears throat> can't be proven or validated, it has to be has to be deleted from your report. Um, another thing is like say like uh, you did have a late payment with a credit card company and you spoke to your credit card your creditor and they said uh, all right we'll give you a little grace period like we'll 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 you know we'll take that that late payment and we'll just throw it away as long as you get that information in writing they they'll either they'll either report it to the agency or if they don't just make sure you get it from your creditor. And um, report it to the boroughs. It's like, hey, this, you know, my, my creditor gave me a report, um, a grace period on this. You have to remove this item. And they have to remove it based on the laws. All right. And let's say another, another um, secret is, like, let's say that you do have a late payment from a creditor. Um, and, and say, <laughs> and if it's, on, if it's only like one late payment or whatever, you can talk to that creditor. Like, look, if you want to keep me as a, as a customer, can you please, you know, remove this from my, my report? And most likely they'll do that as long as you're not a, a person that's always late. If you had like one late payment, this is a way for you to be like, yo, if you want to keep me out of the customer, I need you to take this off my report because I'm um, off my report because I, you know, I, there's value in having a perfect credit um, credit report. Um, so and they'll do that if they want to keep you as a as a customer, that they'll do that and then make sure once you get that information, if they don't report it to the bureau, um, you can do that yourself. All right, like I said, there's ways on doing that, and I'll, I'll do that in another video. So that's and that's the thing, and, and and the last thing is like, say you have collections, right? I think a lot of people have this this tendency to be to be fearful of collections. I'm a person that had thirty thousand dollars of debt, and I cleaned that myself. Uh, I called collectors and negotiated with them. The one thing you need to understand is that a lot of people have this fear is that you as a consumer have a lot of rights. All right. So I know you, 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 you call these collectors and you, and you have this fear that they're going to yell at you, scream at you, cuss at you, threaten you based on laws, based on the so FDCPA, so it's Fair Debt Collections Practices Act. They can't do these things. These are illegal. All right. They can't yell at you. They can't threaten you. Um, they can't curse at you. All right. These are you have so many rights and protections as a consumer. Um, this is something that you need to understand as as you like say you have a collection and you want to you want to get it removed and you want and you want to negotiate with them. I'm someone that I've called creditors and and negotiated myself. All right, so I didn't have anyone do it. It's, it can be intimidated at first, but it's not as bad as you think. You just got to be calm. You got to know your you got to know your stuff, and you just let them know that hey, like you want to settle this, and and they'll try to intimidate you at first a little bit, but 
there's laws against that. And you need to know that. And it's important for you to know the laws. All right. So that's called the Fair Debt Collections Practices Act. So it's the FDCPA. All right. These are laws protecting consumers from um, collectors. OK, so like so. Yeah. So these are a bunch of the secrets um, that you know, a lot of people don't know. I know I didn't know myself. I did my research and I was like, wow, I didn't I didn't know these things. I wish I knew this when I was was going into like negotiate uh, for my debt. But um, if you're someone that, you know, that's that, that has like, you know, the credit you know, history, that's not that great. Just know that there are laws that protect you and there's there are ways of cleaning your credit. And in future videos, I'm gonna go into like details for like each scenario, like how to how to remove um, negative items, how to remove late payments, how to remove bankruptcies, um, um, you know, just, you know, school loans. Like if you have any like negative items on your report, how to clean it up. Um, I'm gonna go over all these different things in like future videos. So. Um, this is just the first one where they like, you know, share some secrets and um, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you found it informational um, and, you know, um, hope, just look forward to other videos coming um, in the future because I'm going to provide a lot of a lot of good detail. OK, so if you like what you heard, uh, make sure to hit the like button, share, subscribe. And if you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. All right. So have a good one and take care later.